Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and we are talking about Tom Clancy's The Division. Every single time I get to make one of these videos about The Division, I get really, really excited, and today is no different. And we're going to be talking about an upcoming gameplay demonstration, Green Zones, Dark Zones, so many zones, and then nighttime gameplay, and so much more. So sit back. We're talking about Tom Clancy's The Division. First up, it's likely you know about Dark Zones from The Division. Players will be able to roam into these zones and engage in PvP combat with the help of their friends. These zones can also be accessed through matchmaking or just by crossing the border into the actual zone. And you can actually leave the zone seamlessly as well, but that's going to be a lot more difficult. Also, apparently there will not be any scoring or timer system in PvP as it is seamless to the open world. They really do want to discourage you from using the matchmaking system. They want you to roam into the PvP zone and make it about the gear, the rare items, weapons, and loot you can obtain in these dark zones. Not so much about the actual score. So it's not going to be like your Call of Duty games. You're not going to be so worried about being the top player in the room. But you got to remember any items you collect in the dark zone can be lost if you are killed in that dark zone. So if you roam out of the dark zone and you're just playing co-op, in regular zones, you will not lose your obtained unique gear that you have uh, fought so hard for. Items and weapons can be obtained in this dark zone by killing other players as well, and your body can be looted, so other players will be coming after you for your unique weapons. Now, if you want to leave the dark zone in a hurry, you can call for an extraction and a helicopter will come and pick you up, but you better believe it, everyone is going to be coming after you because you have just sent up a signal flare and have called all of the PvP players to your location. So getting out of these zones is going to be pretty tough and interesting to say the least. And apparently dark zones will have a very different look to them and NPCs will act differently at nighttime. So roaming into these dark zones will be more difficult at nighttime than during the day. And you can expect more PvP engagement during nighttime as well. So roaming around at nighttime in the division by yourself is an extremely bad idea. They want you to grab a co-op partner and explore nighttime with friends. Now we have confirmation that there will be something called green zones and they are going to be your social hubs in the game. You can expect to trade gear, buy and sell items, respec your character and access multiple characters much in the same way you do in Destiny where you access warlocks, titans and hunters. So you can go in and change your character entirely and really goof around with the RPG system to your liking. It is also likely you will be able to manage your clan here and yes, there will be both clans and factions in the game. Most likely factions will have their own unique items and look to them as well. You can expect to customize your character extensively in this game, which is one of my favorite features of RPGs. And that most likely includes hair, facial features, clothing, gear, weapons, all of it to really, really make you stand out from the crowd. Also, expect to experience every bit of New York City, including the underground, street level, and rooftops. It sounds like they're going all out in terms of depth and density for New York City. So, Tom Clancy The Division is expected to release in 2015, and from the E3 presentations, it is looking amazing, and they have clarified time and time again that the Division will not be seeing a downgrade in any way like Watch Dogs. And by the way, look forward to Gamescom in August. That's going to be August 14th through the 17th for more Tom Clancy The Division. It is highly likely we will be getting a new gameplay demonstration during that time. So look forward to it guys right here on Open World Games. 
Thank you so much for watching. Like this video and share it if you are wanting more Tom Clancy The Division. I will see you guys next time.